Hello guys, me Carl Santos aka Happy Car 957 oh, Welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode So, this is race 2 of the Extreme Dirt Tour series at Dreben Raceway, I believe So, here's my qualifying lap for only one lap So, I gotta give it my all and put it into the corner And hopefully I get a good lap time out of it So. So here I am, turn stream 4, am I going to beat my goal time? Let's see, I don't, but hey, it was 8th eighth, eighth place, I'm telling you, I would have been in the sub 13 seconds on that run, but it was close, it's just the 10th off, so nothing to be ashamed of, but I know I have a fast dirt car, I'm telling you. So. Let's get this race going. It's the stories of the race. Mm, Leslie Gomez crashed. Mark Hunter is the pole sitter, and Greg Willis blown an engine in practice. So. Let's get this over with and do 25 or 29 laps around Dreden. Here we go, and the green flag is out. And Yep, I'm in the high lane, which I love, because I can do that in my dirt car and just run the, run the high line all day like Carl Larson, I'm telling you. I mean, who, who in the minority group in, that's a NASCAR fan is a Kyle Larson fan and loves dirt and everything? I mean, I know it's only lap two in this race, but... You got around the bottom lane just to conserve your tires and have that longevity in the long road, so. So, I want to give a shout out to Blizza81 for providing me the, the best sub setup in the world for all these dirt tracks in the game, so. I, I, I'm so blessed that I'm running this well on le AI Legendary difficulty, so. All I can say is, he probably won't tell you that these settings were based on AI Legend difficulty and as far as how quick the lap times are when you're around others, you know, and also the no assist aids, you know, and, and a lot more like the less wear, more grip scenario, especially with the AI worked in this game so I don't I don't want to think it was a loophole but to make it fair I just want to feel like I'm in mid-pack in most situations and how I'm able to get to the front either way so so as you saw a few seconds ago I finished third of my uh, stage one I believe so <laughs> I thought I was going to say heat my heat, but there's three stages, so you can call them heat to be one, like heat races on dirt. So here's stage two already, so as you can see, I'm running away from the field, I'm telling you, and I'm hugging that inside guardrail, and that's my guide to see knowing that I have a good looking race car and this hot rod fast and, and when you have a good piece under you you can take it wherever you want so it's like a butter knife like real Radman says I'm cutting through traffic like a butter knife <laughs> that might be my quote of the day I'm telling you <laughs> he has these great figurative languages in his mind and says hey you want to get from me? You're gonna have to use the bumper. I'm telling you. <laughs> the these AI are so friendly. They would they just let you out, get you out of the way if you're in the lead. So so that way they don't affect the outcome of the race. So but to be honest, I'm using not much equipment as far as. I record a racing commentary broadcast, so 
no microphone in front of me. I use my iPhone more like a webcam. So, and plus I don't have a racing wheel because I can only do it in the living room with my kids talking and flapping around while I'm racing so I only do it in it with an Xbox One controller so I don't have a steering wheel on my uh, school desk so <laughs> and to be honest yeah this the steering wheel the controller is more challenging for me so so I dominated stage 2 and got the win so <laughs> Got to mention that part, and I know I'm gonna win. Who knows? But who who would say Caleb Stevenson's running me down? Well, I don't think Caleb is actually in second. So, what do you guys think of my racing so far in Dreaming? Do you give it a ten out of ten or? Needs more improvement, like, oh, it's not that challenging. It's not this, you know what, kind of, I'd say, mediocre. <laughs> I mean, you can look at my NASCAR E5 review in one of my playlists. So. That's all I can say, and as far as me, Going through the lap traffic like a butter knife, yeah. So here it is, five laps to go until the end of the race, so... <clears throat> I forgot to put on my lampshade. Okay. Alrighty. I'm getting through the lap traffic very well, and... I got a sizable lead, I'm telling you. Like, I'm getting free traffic a lot better than the guys behind me, I'm telling you. And I give the chrome horn to whoever I was bumping. Yeah. It looked like a pink car, I believe, or purple. Either Lulu Cobb or Leslie Gomez, so. Okay, we're in the white flag lap. Let's bring the car home, that's all. Hmm. Man, it's not Caleb Stevens, so here's the checker flag. So, Alan Santos wins his first Extreme Dirt Tours race of the season at Dreben. So, he got a speed rating of 105. So, he, let's see his burnout as he tears the house down at Dreben Speedway. So. Yeah, that's just a short celebration here, so here are the some of the highlights from the I forget the name of the title of the event. So hmm. Hmm. Who oh who cares? Well all these uh, highlights are just me winning, I'm telling you. So remember everybody, since COVID-19 is still not going away, always wear your mask. And, and cover your mouth, your arm, and always use hand sanitizer wherever you go, okay? Just to keep you guys informed. So, all my buddies from NASCAR Weekly Podcast. They had a hangover from Bristol Motor Speedway a few days ago, so I gotta give them credit of what they uh, done for me the past year. Or so, so where am I in the point standings? Fifth behind Mark Hunter, the points leader. So, so we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So. Click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment 
down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So I'm AK, happy Corona 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.